Hello and welcome to By Excellence Tutorials. Well, <clears throat> in this video, we are going to solve a rotation model. This is circular motion and um, it is coming from, um, it's coming from the tutorial sheet from the University of Zambia. Well, so the question says a carton of eggs sits on the horizontal seat of the car as the car rounds a curve, no, sorry, as a car rounds a 30 meter radius bend at 6.5 meter per second, what minimum coefficient of friction must exist between the curtain and the seat if the eggs are not to slip? Well, so here, what we have, we can try to draw a free body diagram let me say, uh, so this is in the car, right? So this is a carton in the car. So now this carton in the car, what's going to happen? Okay. Let's see what happens. Remember that this carton is sitting on a horizontal. All right, it's sitting on a horizontal. Okay. Yeah. So we have that carton. All right. Now it's going to have the normal force and it's going to have its weight there. And what are we going to have? We are going to have also the friction force, right? The friction force that is going to prevent this, uh, is it carton of eggs from, uh, from, um, sliding or sleeping all right so let's say we have that friction force all right now this friction force you're going to say that is the one that is going to act as the centripetal force here in this case all right so now we just write our equations in the X, what do we have? We have centripetal acceleration there. So we are going to have the friction force being equal to mass times centripetal acceleration. Now we know that the centripetal acceleration is given as V squared over R, like that. So let that be our first equation. Now in the Y, actually this, question is small is it's not that hard it's not hard in the y we don't have motion so what are the forces we have the normal force minus the weight being equal to zero so normal force gives us mg all right so that is true now look at the relationship that exists between the friction force and also the the normal force we know that friction force can be given by that, of which this is going to be mg if we put in our equation two. So now this equation into the first equation, what we're going to have is where is friction force? We have to put a new mg. So we're going to have an equation that is going to look like this. All right, so we have M and M can go, and then we can do this R, G, like that. So from there now, we can see that we have all the values of variables that we can put in this. So what we have is the speed is 16.5, All 
right squared and the radius is 30 meters and g is constant we have it like that so what do we get so when we punch this one the two five So when we divide those two, we get 0 0.93. So that is the, the coefficient of friction that is going to exist so that uh, the egg do not uh, slip. All right, so that is how you find that one. So if you found uh, this video to be helpful, kindly subscribe, like, and share with the friends so that they can also uh, benefit from this. Thank you so very much for your time.